Hi, this is John from FontSpring, and today I'm going to be taking a look at OpenType features, both how to use them as well as a couple of the things that they can do. For our demo purposes, I'm going to be using Pesaro here, which is great because not only does it have OpenType features, but the light version is free. So I'm going to be loading up the light version in Photoshop here. The other great thing about all of Hoff types fonts is that he includes a nice list of all the open type features so you can see here all the different things that it can do and if you want to pause your screen you can see <clears throat> what's happening now let's head into the demo and if you look at the characters here in order to get your open type features working in Photoshop first you need to make sure you go up to window and select the character panel which will bring it up over here. If that's not already up, you need to select it there. Now, once you have your panel open, you need to head over to this little tiny button below the X. And if you click that, you get to see a lot of features like all caps, small caps, etc. Now, if you head to open type features over here, we can start selecting them. Let's pick standard ligatures, discretionary ligatures, and old style numerals. Now you can see all the things that change, these connected as well as these, and you have some really cool looking numbers here. You can also do some handy things like fractions. All of these use open type features to dynamically switch out characters as you type them. Now let's head over to Microsoft Word to take a look there. This is in the Mac OS version, but it should be the same in Windows. So let's select some text that I want. You want to head up to Font under Format. Click that. And then in here, you want to click Advanced. You'll see ligatures, number spacing, number forms, stylistic sets. We can do the tabular proportional spacing. We can do old style numerals like we did before, as well as things like all caps, small caps, and a couple other features. They also support stylistic sets. Now a quick word about compatibility overall. Open type features can do some great things and are included in many more fonts these days. Unfortunately, there's a little bit of catch up that needs to be played with the various programs. Photoshop and Illustrator support most features, but not all. They don't have stylistic sets, for example. Microsoft Word has some abilities that Photoshop and Illustrator don't. For example, they can handle stylistic sets. If you want a program that can support every single open type feature, you need to get something like InDesign or another program that's specifically made to handle type in many situations. So that was an overview of open type as well as how to get it working. I hope you found this helpful. Remember that not all font licenses are created equal. If you want to buy fonts from a location where you can actually understand the license, you should head to FontSpring. Thanks.